Joining me now is Nasser Saidi. He's the former first vice governor of Lebanon's central bank. He's also former minister of Econ economy and trade. He joins me from Abu uh, from, Dab from Dubai uh, tonight. Um, uh, minister, the, the seriousness of the situation facing the region. We'll come to Lebanon in just a moment. But as I look at all the economies that are affected by sanctions, by oil prices, by turmoil, there's no easy or obvious way out here. No, there isn't. I mean, you're, you, you said it earlier on. This is a region where it's, it's best described by turbulence, turmoil, but also some countries in transition. And the last thing that we need is really more violence and war, and I hope we'll be able to avoid that. So take that and turn it to Lebanon. I mean, can you say that there is a functioning economy? On the one hand, you know, everybody's going around thing, buying in shops and credit cards are being accepted. But the other hand, you get the feeling that the economy isn't largely an informal economy and one that is teetering on the brink, if not already, having collapsed. That's just about right. I mean, Le Lebanon is living a perfect storm. You've got uh, the combination of a political crisis an economic crisis, a financial crisis, and I might add an environmental crisis. Uh, those are coming together uh, at a time at which Lebanon is also suffering from spillover from the rest of the region uh, because of sanctions, right. uh, not only on Iran, but on our neighbor, Syria in particular, and directly spilling over into Lebanon. So that combination is really deadly for Lebanon. It's killed our tourism, it's killed our trade. So the protests really are not the origin of the problem. The origin of the problem is the large buildup of debt. It is the corruption, the waste, the nepotism, all of that that led to this large buildup of debt. Um, and if you look at that, we're talking about debt, which is more than 155% of GDP. Uh, debt service is 10% of GDP. It represents 50% of government revenue. Uh, those, those are the issues. The solution. OK, so Hariri's gone. There needs to be a new government. But some people say that the nature of the Constitution makes it impossible to get the most talented people into jobs, which may or may not be the case. But the answer is, how do you, practically, how do you have a clean sweep of the existing elites and still manage to run the country? Well, Lebanon has all the competence that is required. Uh, one thing you want to avoid is you want to avoid getting people with a political history, and that means most members of parliament. So it has to be a nonpartisan, it has to be independent, it has to be professional people with some public policy experience. We have that. Uh, remember, Lebanese have been involved in economic development across the Arab world, into Africa, into the the whole the whole world right. so we have the competencies required what is what is important is is to stand up really uh, to an inherited political class that has led lebanon to where it is today um, i have called it a, a kleptocracy we you have to fight that it's not going to be easy any government that comes in today is going to have to face those uh, i've called it a harakiri type government right. Quick final question, would you be willing to serve? I think you'd find many Lebanese who are willing to serve. Um, the important thing is, is there a willingness by the political class to reform? Uh, we haven't seen a lot of political courage right. so far. You have to get rid of communitarian, communitarian politics. That's not what it's about. You need to address your debt problem, your currency problem, uh, your financial right. problem, your banking crisis. Uh, those are the core issues, not, not the, not the bet petty politician politics. All right. Sir, thank you for joining us this evening. We much appreciate it.